بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم مائی نیم از محمد آسم آئی ایم ورکنگ ایز ڈیو آپس انجینئر ان دس ویڈیو آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو شو یو ہاؤ وی کین سیٹ اپ دا اوپن آئی ڈی کنیکٹ وتھ اپلیکیشن لوڈ بیلنسر اینڈ وی آر گوئنگ ٹو یوز دا گیٹ لیب سو دا ایڈوانٹیج آف یوزنگ از دیٹ وی کین اوتھینٹیکیٹ آور گیٹ لیب یوزرس اور اٹ کین بی اینی ریپوزٹری لائک گیٹ ہب اور بیڈ بکٹ سو اینی وے آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو شو یو دا گیٹ لیب ان دس اینڈ ہاؤ وی کین ڈو دا اتھینٹیکیشن پارٹ تھرو دا اپلیکیشن لوڈ بیلنسر سو واٹ آئی ہیو ڈن آئی ہیو سیٹ اپ دا ریپوزٹری فار یو گائز اینڈ آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو شو یو ہاؤ وی کین ڈو دیٹ سو This is uh, going to be the pretty much short video. I've already set up all the stuff with regard to the application load balancer and my application. So I'm going to show you all the steps. So um, this is the repository and what I will be doing. Uh, first of all, I'm going to show you the basic stuff with regard to the uh, GitLab documentation, how we can set it up. You can set it up your own uh, GitLab server, but we are not going to do uh, this in this video what I will be doing I'm going to show you the simple um, GitLab account uh, which I already have my personal account uh, on GitLab so I'm going to simply copy this and this is the documentation so I'm going to paste the setting with regard to that application so I'm going to paste it and I'm going to simply um, do the stuff like gitlab.com okay so what it does it is going to show me the settings with regard to the open id configuration so these are the open id configuration um, first of all um, i'm going to drag this guy here and i'm going to simply create one application uh, let's say i'm going to call this application cloud geeks okay so this is the application um currently i'm going to leave this uh, redirect url to blank and i will show you the other parts as well so i'm going to check this open id profile and email i'm not going to save it what i will be doing uh I'll navigate to the aws section so this is the domain which i'm going to use uh, this is my uh, sample domain we, um, I already uh, set up the ACM part and I'm going to simply close it so um, in this EC2 machine what I have done I've set up my sample application let me show you that part so I've installed the docker and I've set up my basic simple uh, nginx application and it is just a simple container you can pull this uh, container uh, from the docker up as well so it is just simple application so i'm going to close this as well okay so uh, this is the application load balancer and what we will be doing so i set up uh, the redirect uh, to https and in um, https section what i will be doing i'm going to uh, edit this section and i'm going to make one entry so i'm going to click the insert rule and let's say um, I'm going to call this screen dot Muhammad dash awesome dot TK okay if the request come from this host header what it does um, it's not going to forward it is going to authenticate for authentication part you can use either Amazon Cognito or you can use OIDC um, okay so as I show you uh, the setting with regard to that for instance um, what is the issue so simply I'm going to sim copy this guy and I'm going to let me do this again and I'm going to paste this here so this is the issue right so if you have your uh, different personal GitLab server or any GitHub 
server you set up your own server you can use that particular domain name here then the settings are going to be how you can do that i already shown you you have to simply change this url to that and this configuration setting are going to be available for you so uh, authorization endpoint so let me um show you the stuff with regard to that okay so I, okay so authorization endpoint i'm going to copy this guy and and i'm going to press ctrl c and i'm going to put it here and then token endpoint uh, navigate to this guy this is the token endpoint simply copy this okay and user info endpoint so user info endpoint uh, is this one so i'm going to simply copy this sorry this one and i'm going to paste this guy here so client id and the client secret so i'm going to navigate to the gitlab section simply navigate from preference section navigate to the application application uh, section as we set up this application cloud geeks okay so um, what would be this redirect url so, so redirect url is going to be let me show you that so this is the redirect url let me show you this so what i have done i've already dns uh, done the dns entry so i put the application dot balancer as the c name in my dns um, and this is the green dot mohammed dash asim dot tk slash auth2 id idp response right so this is going to be your um, redirect url i'm going to paste it here right so okay then that's it so i'm going to save the application what it does it will show it will give me the application id and the secret so i'm going to copy this uh, id and i'm going to i'm going to paste this here okay so control v this is the client id and simply navigate to this section copy the secret and paste it here rest of the setting leave it as it is okay and okay and one thing other than that i'm going to add uh, do the forwarding stuff and i'm going to forward this to my application and in application uh, i'm going to um, add this particular uh, ec2 instance with my application and let me show you that first of all navigate to the target group section i've set up this default it has nothing in it and i'm going to simply navigate to my application section currently i don't register any target click on the register target and i'm going to simply click this and include uh, this in the registration uh, target and it is going to register with uh, the application load balancer this target group and you see initialization has begun uh, so our docker instance um, with the sample application nginx uh, is going to be running and uh, you can use this application it is actually basic uh, nginx and once uh, it's going to be ready it is going to be in a healthy state and let it do that okay so uh, we are pretty much done with that okay let me let me put let it uh, let it run first of all i just want to show you the how authentication is going to be uh, happen and let it finish okay it says unhealthy let me 
check with it okay because um, seems like I have not opened the security group let me pause the video and update the security group so guys I have updated the security group and hopefully we will uh, get the IC2 instance in green state and I'm going to do uh, I'm going to close this guy and um, if I navigate to the target group section you see our instance is now healthy so um, now we have set up the basic stuff with regard to the authentication um, if I navigate to let me open in uh, incognito mode and if I type this screen dot um, Mohammed dash asim dot tk so let's see what happened so you see uh, it redirected me to this GitLab section what I will be doing I'm going to paste my um, GitLab credential uh, which is my personal account and I'm going to sign in so you see now it asking me um, this is the cloud geeks at, uh, app which we have just set up so uh, can i authorize it or deny it i'm going to simply click on authorize and if everything goes well you see i'm able to access my application and it is uh, green.mohammadasim.tk so you see connection is secure and application is working fine so guys uh, this is how we can authenticate our application through open id connect um, that's the whole video if you like the video please like share and subscribe the channel thank you very much have a nice day